It's the week of December 27th, and this is COVID Conversations, where we discuss the latest COVID-19 news with the experts. Vaccines are being administered across the country, with more vaccines becoming available each week. But when it comes to women who are pregnant or breastfeeding, there are question marks surrounding the vaccine. These women are typically left out of clinical trials, given the complex nature of pregnancy. Here in the U.S., the decision to get vaccinated is left to the woman. Iris Collier is an OBGYN for Beth Israel Deaconess Medical Center, and she joins me now. Dr. Collier, welcome. Thank you. This question is, can you receive the COVID-19 vaccine if you're pregnant or breastfeeding? Thank you for that question. The, the CDC, along with our governing bodies like the American College of Obstetrics and Gynecology and Society for Maternal Fetal Medicine, actually are pretty straightforward with the, the fact that they believe pregnant and lactating people should have access to all the COVID-19 vaccines. Um, part of this is because we know that pregnancy actually increases the risk of some of the complications of SARS-CoV-2 infection, including um, the need for ICU admission, the need for being on a ventilator, and actually some small studies showing that increases the rate of mortality. So the benefits of preventing a severe infection from SARS-CoV-2 are considerable. So when you have a woman that comes into your office and is planning to get pregnant, would you basically say the same thing to her or is there a different conversation you would want to have in terms of whether or not they want to get that vaccine while they're planning their pregnancy? Yeah, so we don't have any um, information about when is the best time to get vaccinated in pregnancy or prior to pregnancy. And so we really aren't um, recommending delay of vaccination um, because of reproductive plans. Um, and especially, you know, the, the CDC has pretty strong recommendations about you don't even need to test for pregnancy if you're getting the vaccine. And if you become pregnant um, in between the doses of vaccine, you shouldn't delay or defer that second dose because it's really the two doses that have shown the most effectiveness at preventing a severe infection. So if someone walks in and, and, and has these questions, you know, what would be your normal conversation with them when, they, when you sit down with them during a visit? That's a good question. We um, have, there are some, you know, guidelines out there put together by the Society for Maternal Fetal Medicine that help guide that discussion. But really, it's a balance. You know, we, we think that the vaccine is safe um, in pregnancy and, and certainly shouldn't be held because of your lactation. Um, and that it really is a decision for everyone based on their individual risks um, and the known limited risks of receiving the vaccine. So the risks of infection based on um, what they do, what their exposures are, what their community risks of getting infection are versus the small side effects associated with vaccine um, and kind of some of the unknowns. Um, though it's not studied in pregnancy, there's not really a thought that this particular type of vaccine is dangerous for the pregnancy or for the fetus or newborn. So it's super important that we keep an eye out on, on any data that comes out, but ultimately the benefits of the vaccine are gonna outweigh any concerns that someone might have. So it's just really important that we, that we all get vaccinated. That's right. Um, and I, I would say for, as in pregnancy, like you highlighted before, it's really not only the benefit for um, the pregnant mother who is more susceptible to severe infections, but also the potential for um, protection of the fetus and newborn from um, the effects of a severe infection or from infection after birth. Great. This is very informative. I really appreciate your time, Dr. Collier, coming and speaking with me and giving a little more information and, and hopefully um, quelling some concerns that pregnant or breastfeeding women or women planning to get pregnant might have about the vaccine. Thank you so much. My pleasure. Thank you very much. This is COVID Conversations, uh, where we discuss the COVID-19 news with the experts. Thank you so much again, Dr. Collier. Have a great day.